Hello and welcome to the, the Sandbrook Adventures. Adventures, where it's day three of our cruise here on the Carnival Mardi Gras, and today is a day at sea. I'm actually starting this vlog way into the afternoon because we've had such a nice chill out today. We've not really done much at all, have we? Literally, I got up and then I went back to bed for three hours. I didn't realise <laughs> I'd been asleep that long. It's just so nice for us to take things quite chilled out and have a relax. Another reason for that is because the ship is shaking quite a lot, isn't it, oh, today? Oh, it is. You can really feel it. In fact, the bulk coat on the top is closed because it's been shaking quite a lot today and uh, yeah so Charlotte's been feeling a little bit seasick. I have, I took some motion sickness tablets, I'm feeling a little bit better now. But uh, yeah it's Ooh. the middle of the afternoon, yeah you can kind of hear it creaking can't there you? you go. Uh, but we're going to go for a bit of a tour around, we're going to take you in some of the shops, show you some of the merchandise that they've got, um, some of the other restaurants that there is as well and of course we've got some more entertainment coming up tonight Ooh. as well. So if you haven't already make sure you check out part one and part two. Yesterday was in beautiful Nassau, Bahamas, tomorrow um, we're in Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic and yeah we're going to have a bit of a tour around the ship come and join us so we're starting off our little tour here on deck eight with Chibang Chinese and Mexican cuisine there's so many different restaurants on the ship isn't there oh, there is there is so much some of them included some of them aren't so make sure you check before you're coming on yeah when I was looking on the app it kind of tells you that some of them you can go for like one meal out during your cruise so you as well and then other times you have to pay after that. Yeah, if you wanted to go back, but it all varies. Obviously, when it comes to food options, we're quite basic, aren't we, really? The Chinese are like a basic chicken cooking, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's located just here on deck eight. Continuing on then, here on deck eight, you've got the Havana Bar just over there. It's closed at the moment for a private function. We had an evening when we walked past, that's been pretty pumping in there. Some nice art on the walls make our way back into Grand Central just over here and yeah they have all these photo opportunities and of course lots of photographers on board the ship and yeah what I've noticed is they actually change the backdrops every day as well which is pretty cool and yeah we're kind of in the middle of the afternoon now a lot of setup happening for this evening's show yeah they're like look at this early on while Charlotte was having a little sleep I was sat in here for about an hour and was doing some admin work and yeah I was watching them actually set all this up and it was fascinating like all these screens changing them all and we're watching this tonight uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing this yeah, one this looks really good. yeah fantastic um, big setup just over here yeah I love this kind of grand atrium Ooh. it's very nice oh is this Jackie our cruise director it could be <laughs> oh it's not there we go, nice seating area. What we've noticed on this ship, there's so many seating areas, isn't there? There's so many places to sit, which is really good. Yeah, like I found loads today, just walking around and, and chilling out, which has been lovely. Yeah. Just over here, you've got a sushi restaurant as well. Look at the views from in there, that's very nice. And of course, we're kind of a couple of hours away from a lot of these restaurants opening. Quite a few of them open for lunch. And then, of course, all of them for dinner. We've got a jewellery shop just over here. Front Street watches, sunglasses just in there, bags, probably way out of our price range. <laughs> but yeah, quite a large jewellery shop. And yeah, it's all located in this kind of Grand Central area. There's another little restaurant over there at the side. And yeah, what's nice about this atrium is how you've got so many different levels that all connect together. I think this is across like three decks just here, six, seven and eight. So yeah, you all get different views looking down. But yeah, this show tonight looks great. Really excited for that. Another set of elevators just over there. So you've got three kind of elevator areas across the ship. And each one's got like a set of eight there, I believe. But you still wait quite a while. That's one thing we've noticed. You wait eight. I think this is like one of your photography areas, isn't it? So you can kind of view all your photos and kind of select what you want to. And that's kind of what this whole area is, like an IT area just over here. What I really like are all these little sparkles in the ceiling. How nice are they? Pixels photo galleries. Yeah, this is literally all the photos that you have around the ship. Well, they sell GoPro equipment on here as well. There you go. Quite interesting, lots of tech. Got some lanyards just over there. A lot of people like to put their little folio card like the cruise card for getting on and off the ship in a lanyard. That's why you see a lot of people wearing lanyards. Some frames just down there with the ships on. This is quite nice, the little bell on just there as well. An inaugural season bell frame, 24.95. Lots of other like photo frames and things here as well. We'll have a look in the official Carnival Cruise shop because I believe they've got a model in there of the ship, which is really nice. You wouldn't think you're on a cruise, would you walking around all this? 
That is massive. Yeah, loads of different like walkways that lead into the kind of lift areas. And yeah, this whole area is like dedicated to photos. All the different backdrops. Big outdoor area just over there too. Hey, I shall you can buy your snorkeling gear over here. You can get that ready for tomorrow if you want, Amber Cove. Yeah, full face snorkel mask. 49.95 for your snorkel gear. It's good how they do sell it on board though. So do you want it? There's the car over there. Hey! <laughs> Everyone's so friendly on here, it's very nice. So yeah, you've got the Italian restaurant just down here as well. Again, fantastic decor. So yeah, this is another kind of table service Italian restaurant. And yeah, what you can do is check in via the Hub app. I've got to say the Carnival app is brilliant. It tells you everything that's going on, where you can eat now and everything like that. But yeah, a bit of a look at the menu just there. If you check out the Carnival website, you'll be able to see um, all the details on menus and that sort of thing. But yeah, that looks quite nice in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm going to grab a slice of pizza. Oh, I, hey, yeah, this is our kind of go-to. We just like the quick service stuff, don't we, really? Yeah, we do. We're not like fine dining people. No, not at all. That's what's cool about this cruise, though, because you've got a lot of quick service options. <laughs> nice little bar there, Bar Della Rosa. <laughs> yeah, cocktails are about 11 to $12, so... Pretty reasonable price, and I'd say, yeah, we like this place. Pizzeria del Cappuccino, just here, and we're still on deck eight. So yeah, and just grab a pizza. This is open until 4 a.m. Right. <laughs> Especially at night, they're just like handing out the pizzas over here, which is really nice. And they're always cleaning on the ships as well. I feel so clean. They do a really good job. Of course, you can get your ice and water over here as well. And yeah, you get lemonade included just on there as well. And yeah, they've got these cups everywhere throughout the ship. Some nice scenery, look at that. So yeah, you can just grab a slice of pizza and sit out there and enjoy the view. And they've also got Piazza Panini just over here as well. All these different options that you got here. And of course, just grab as many as you want to throughout the cruise. Grilled ham and cheese just down there, turkey. Yeah, of course, all freshly made. And that's right next door to the pizzas here on deck number eight. Yeah, another nice pizza there for Charlotte. Yeah, so I went for the full cheese pizza. Also to note out, you do get hot drinks included, so I've gone for a nice cup of tea. Oh, that's really good. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll continue on having a walk down deck eight. Oh, I do love this big staircase over here. And look at the chandelier as well. Absolutely gorgeous. It makes a fantastic photo opportunity as well. Oh, it does. I had a lovely photo here last night. Oh, you did indeed. Let's carry on down this way. You've got the sea grill just over there as well. Yeah, there's so many options. There really is. ATM on board just here too. Carnival Adventures. Yeah, this area is dedicated to all kind of your excursions and that sort of thing as well. Yeah, so you can book your excursions there. I mean, you can do it all through the app, which is great. But if you prefer seeing a person, I mean, you can come here. So yeah, that's the Carnival Adventures desk just over there. Guest services just over here as well. Not too big of a queue. It was busy on the first night, gas services. Yeah, not so much now. Nice area all around here. So we head down into the summer landing area. Hey! <laughs> oh, I love it. Everyone's so friendly. Into the summer landing area now. And the pig and anchor smokehouse down here. And there's the pig just there. There he is. <laughs> Oh, look at this in here, very nice. The Pig and Lanka. What have we got just over here? Portside liquor and tobacco shop as well. Here on board. Tax free. Just there as well. All your rum, all your liquor just over there. Whiskies as well. Is that the sort of thing you want? What you got there, Charlotte? Just got the Evening Entertainment Guide. Yeah, so every day they bring out a new one of these. Again, it's all in the app. But for those of you that don't want to use the app, it's all printed out as well. Which is really handy. I like that because there's some people who come on board that might not really want to use the app and no. might not be able to. So, so they can use this. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's kind of like a bit of a sports bar in here, as you can see. And just over here, we've got another truck. You know what that means, don't you? Ice cream, hey, ice cream truck just over here. Love these, of course, self serve, just do it yourself. <laughs> are you having one, are you? Just going for it. Here we go, let's see Charlotte in action with the ice cream machine again. Oh, she's getting good. That's it. 
<laughs> you are a professional. That's pretty good, that is, Charlotte. There you go. What a nice ice cream. My second one <laughs> Bar area just in here. Heroes Tribute Lounge. And yeah, they do have like a buffet over here on an evening as well, over in that bottom corner. So yeah, we'll come and show you that at some point. You got like a sports bar. You got some activities that you can do over there as well, which is quite nice. A little football tables. And this takes you out to the back of the pool just over here. You have some live music in here as well. Open her up. And here's the pool out the back. Some little bits around. Scrabble just there. Scrabble Deluxe. Uh. <laughs> yeah, they do like all barbecue food in there on an evening. As you come outside, oh, it's pumping out here. Nice pool area. Right down here at the back of the ship. And again, loads more seating around here too. But I think we'll head down a level now. Let's go to deck seven. I'll have a walk down through the shops and bars and restaurants area down there for you all. Back inside then now, and yeah, you can see the actual brewery down in here at the back, which is really interesting. Yeah, I love all that. How's the ice cream, Charlotte? Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's head down the steps just over here. Yeah, like all the carpets and all the corridors are really nice when you're walking around. They have a lot of art as well. It was like an art sale earlier today too. Not really my sort of thing. That's the thing, there's stuff for everybody on board the ship. And again, you've also got the screens here by all of the elevator areas telling you what's going on. It's got the time, the temperature. And yeah, as you can see, Tuesday, fun day at sea. We've got Family Feud to look forward to tonight, which is going to be good. It's like a game show and yeah, they've had auditions whilst we've been here uh, for like families to get involved. We've got like an adult version of that as well, so that might be quite good fun. Yeah, we're going to go and watch that tonight and see if it's funny. I reckon that'll be a good laugh, that will. So you've got the main kind of palm restaurant dining room just over here as well. Yeah, you can see the whole dining room setup just over here. I'll just little stroll down and show you that. All these little features, conference centre down the bottom there. Conference room, rather. And yeah, here's the main dining room just in here. Very nice. So you can see with all the setup. Obviously, it's not serving quite yet. Look at that. Beautiful. All set up there. And of course, this is included. You can come here every night if you want a more formal dining experience. And here's a look at the menu for the Palm restaurant just here. What you need to do if you want to dine here, you just kind of check in on the app and choose a time when you prefer to go. They've got like early dining and late dining as well. I think one's about 5.30, the other's around 7.30, um, give or take, where you can see like um, the different options just on there. And from walking past here every day, I think the options uh, are pretty similar on there. Oh, look at the crunch that ice cream's having. <laughs> Carry on down this way. Oh, here we go. Here's like the little art gallery that they've got. And yeah, they were like auctioning off some artwork earlier oh, on. Nice. The turtle. Oh, yeah, that's good. I can't believe we saw the turtle yesterday. Oh, yeah. It's that later in the week, the Disney Art Expedition. Ah, Expedition. <laughs> <laughs> Expedition Everest. That's not until next week. So, yeah, we're just one level down now. That's the thing. You don't have to go in the elevators or the main staircases like this one, where we was just above here before. Yeah, they're always cleaning as well. It's very nice. Another bar area just over here. Again, these later on in the evening really do get busy and pumping. Fahrenheit Steakhouse. Oh, look at this setup. So it'll be a really good time, kind of, to have a stroll around and show you all of this. That's it. Oh, you got all ice cream down no, here. Oh no, you're not really. <laughs> yeah, this is where I sat earlier on and had a lovely chill out, for like an hour just over oh, here. Sleep. Yeah, this was lovely. Very nice lighting around here, and yeah, it changes like every couple of minutes, like all the colours, all the mood lighting, and yeah, this is a lovely area. And we'll head down onto that next level, deck six, in just a moment. But we'll carry on down here on level seven, the Alchemy Bar. Nice place to get your drinks, cocktails. And yeah, we're still swaying side to side, not as much as earlier on, but we still see you going a little bit. No, that's what got you earlier, didn't it? Just down there, you've got a venue called the Limelight Lounge. So yeah, that's, I believe, like a nightclub after midnight, and um, they have karaoke on in there sometimes, um, and other activities happening in the Limelight Lounge as well. 
Yeah, I mean they had a big bingo on earlier on the on the main stage as well, which was cool. Kind of over in the atrium. Yeah, I love all this lighting around here. And again, there's so much seating. All these set up for tonight. Yeah, it's elegant night tonight. Nice shark has got a nice dress on just there. More artwork. We've got some little stalls just over here today as well. And some jewellery. Two for fifty-five dollars. Ten dollar event going on just over here. And this is right opposite the carnival store just here in Island Traders. Yeah, we'll have a look around in here. Lots of carnival hoodies just over here. That's quite nice. Two for fifty dollars on the sweaters. Yeah, you got all sorts in here. You got like the mugs down there, the refillable bottles, or your carnival branded clothing as well. Bucket hats just there. You fancy those? Quite nice. Is that a headpiece just there? I think that's a, a little headpiece that you got. There you go. Nice headpiece for you. Mickey Mouse ears. There you go. That's it. Where the <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the jewellery then, way over yeah. there. Some nice bits. Mardi Gras items, they're very nice. And I love these just over here, the models of the ship. Like that one's great. But I think this one is fantastic over here. There you go, how nice is that? Yeah, it's like a ceramic model. Like it's not plastic, it's like pottery. Very nice, that is official licensed ship model. And here you can see, of course, all the top leveled us up there, deck 16. Starting to know it all now, a few days in. You know, not an expert in cruising at all, and straight away you start to, you know, pick things up every few days as you're going around. Oh, yeah, they're quite nice. Five dollars ninety-nine. The official merch. I'm sure a lot of people like to pick something up on a cruise, and you know, you kind of pick something up every time you do one. Look at that up there, the Carnival Fun Ship speaker. Got some plushies in here as well. Yeah, I love that model, and that's fantastic. Cruising Carnival. That's twenty nine ninety nine. Not too bad. And some more T-shirts over here as well. That's quite a nice one. Just up there. There we go with Mardi Gras. Just on there too. Got a little clothes shop next door here as well. I'm gonna get some flip flops. You can do and some other clothes available on board as well. She's nice. You just don't feel like you're on a ship at all, do you? Sunglasses. Jeans. Yeah, so if you forget anything, you can pick it up. And again, this brings us down to kind of the main atrium, just over here. More steps leading up. And then you've got the casino in there. You're not allowed to film in the casino at all, but I can say it is absolutely huge. It goes all the way to the left and all the way to the right. It takes up like half of this level. Massive. It's always so busy. Yeah, it's open 24 hours a day as well. Great. Yeah, there's the leaflets over there on the Grand Central area. But yeah, the casino is massive. Obviously, can't uh, take you through that way. There we go. That's what I've got. So I got that from when we went to Nassau, and I collect the charms at all the different ports. Ah, there you go. And yeah. I can attach them all on. So you got some more. You got guides to uh, Amber Cove as well. Like they're always changing stuff. The yeah, they did a little presentation again earlier as well, giving us information. It's very good. Like I'm impressed with the service and you know trying to make sure you know everything about your next destination. Let's uh, carry them around this way. Big chair over there. Look at all these photo ops. Very nice. All the stairs. Loads of seating. What's great about this venue as well? Yes, it is a theatre, but also it's a space to just come and kind of chill out in the daytime or even on an evening as well. Setting all this up now, ready for tonight. This looks very intriguing. I still can't believe the voodoo show last night, how good that was. You got some kind of stadium style fit seating over here as well. Just obviously much more comfortable. Yeah, the casino is all in the back. For anybody who loves the tech, look at the techie booth just over here. Like, you know me, I love lighting and all that kind of stuff. Loads of moving heads, loads of lighting, which is fantastic. Some nice artwork around there. That leads again into the casino. Around that way, we'll just continue here on deck seven. Yeah, look at all this lighting. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment in here. And again, what I love about this are all the strips in the ceiling, and yeah, how on the morning this is all open, that is a big panoramic window. All the screens move, and 
So good. It is very cool. This will be open again this evening, the Grand View Bar, just over here. That's quite a nice effect over at the back with the lighting. And yeah, that just leads back down into the casino in that direction. So we're heading down now onto deck six, deck six isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So it's kind of like six, seven, and eight, and then 16 are the, are the big ones, aren't they? You know. More photo opportunities for tonight. And you've got Piano Bar 88 just down here. Another venue, again, it'll be open on an evening, close for a private function. And you've got the theatre down at this bottom end over here as well, in this direction. Oh, it's busy around here. What's going on? Thank you. We've got the uh, Build the Bear workshop going on. We've got the Punchline of Comedy Club over here. I mean, that's Build the Bear at the moment, but yeah, it's a comedy club in there, which is fantastic. Got a nice venue. This is lovely. I can't remember if we showed you this or not yet, but that's very nice. Fair opportunity. And the original Mardi Gras from 1972. Great photo op. What's going on? Build oh my God, look at it in there. It is pumping. Yeah, it's like the Build of Bear workshop and the Punchline of Comedy Club on an evening. Now, of course, a lot of people like to keep fit whilst they're on a cruise. And yeah, you've got the um, fitness centre just down here. There is also a spa over here on the right hand side as well. Of course, you do need to pay extra for the spa. That's just over here, Cloud9, spa and thermal suite. And here's the fitness centre. Yeah, I was having a walk around here earlier. Charlotte's not seen it yet. Oh, wow, this is great. Massive fitness centre in here. Wow. All your equipment that you need in here. Towels and flannels over there too. Great location as well with the treadmills just around this corner because they look out to the ocean. What a great gym. It's nice in here, isn't it? Definitely. Probably come and do a little bit of running in here one morning. There we go, look. This is a fantastic view for the treadmills. Looking out at the ocean there, and because we're on a lower deck, get some nice close up views. You can see why it's a bit choppy out there today, especially when you come down here low down and look at the waves. You don't really notice oh it God. when you're further up, but when you come down here, you can really notice the waves. But yeah, all the treadmills, loads in here. Of course, free to come in, part of your cruise package, which is fantastic. Yeah, massive space, they've got weights over there as well. Yeah, it's great in here. I'm back down here in the Grand Central area now. Java Blue Cafe just over here. So yeah, this isn't included in the price. You do need to pay extra for things here, but you've got like muffins and pastries just over here. Quite a nice selection. I'll show you these just over here. Some sandwiches just down here. That fancy price though, four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. Cupcakes just over there as well. Seems pretty cheap compared to when we've just come from Universal. You're going to be going to Disney where, you know, you're going to be paying a lot more than that for cupcakes. That, that's great. That looks nice. The smallest cupcake with marshmallows. Getting a free water. Getting a water. <laughs> that is the good thing though. All around the ship, you've got these areas just to grab a beverage. Oh, look all that ice. Oh my God, how much ice do you want then? Oh, We're not expecting it all to come out. No, I wasn't. <laughs> but they don't? Yeah, the Java Blue Cafe. Just down here. Again, lots of seating. Opening times for everything can be found on the app as well, because not everything's open all day. Things kind of rotate round. Rehearsals in progress. It's a nice show. Yeah, this is a nice venue in here. Sweet shop. Sweet shop. They actually sell Cadbury's chocolate in here as well, that Charlotte. So oh yeah, you can get some like cans are available over here. A can of soda, $3. Not too bad as well. Root beer just over there. Some big bottles of water, 425 for a 1.5 litre. Crystal clear Alpine spring I've water. I've never seen a can of Pepsi with that logo on. Have you not? The diet one? Yeah, it must be like the American diet diet one. Love that. Jawbreaker. Oh, yeah. Into the sweet shop. <laughs> this is nice in there. Quite small, but there's a lot of choice. A lot of American sweets. Look at that there, Charlotte. That's got our name written all over it. Oh the giant cheese. gummy cola bottle. Wow. How nice does that look? That's amazing. How much is that? We've got a price on it. $24. $24. Giant gummy snake. And there's the Cadbury's chocolate. There we go. Distributed by Hershey's, I'm sure. So it doesn't taste quite the same, but still, 
chocolate available. And again, this isn't included in here, of course, you need to pay extra for these things. Thing one, thing two. Yeah, they've got kind of all the Seuss branding on here as well as we saw when we got on. Lots of sweets in here. What are we talking price-wise? Candy by the pound, 3 95 per pound, just over there. Or you can fill tin with sleeve, 15 95 There we go. Not used to working with pounds, are we? <laughs> yeah, you've got all your usuals in there. This is a bit of me. I love gummy cupcakes oh. there they look good don't they i like the different ones like the ice cream cones used to love them they have white mice in here or not they're one of my favorites of course cola bottles fizzy cola bottles that is a choice this is a really nice bar here look at this all the decor kind of has a bit of a roaring 20s kind of vibe all this around here a bit gatsby style which is lovely very nice oh look at the light fitments there they're brilliant they remind me of trumpets i'm not too sure if they're supposed to be oh there we go yeah the brass magnolia yeah so it's like brass band style another band set up just over there yeah this is lovely and there's another restaurant just down here as well that's the flamingo restaurant another kind of fine dining option that's just down here as well you see that's all set up down there nicely Flamingo. Lots more seating all around here as well. There's another bar down here. I believe this is the Fortune Teller. Hence why you've got all the nice decor around at the side, like all these curtains and the lighting. Fortune Teller bar. Yeah, a couple of days in, we're pretty used to the layout, which is good. It's a nice feature. We'll stroll down that way in just a second. I'll show you this area. Got a nice photo opportunity. Yeah, I love all these. Don't show up the best under the camera, but very cool. Another watch shop just over there too. <laughs> you feel swaying a little bit now. And yeah, kind of your perfume shops down here. Beauty and fragrances. All in this section too. shoe shop and jewellery. I think we'll continue on down this way. So you've got quite a few shops to have a little mooch around, but of course when you go into all the ports, loads of shops like you saw at Nassau. And then we're into the French Quarter now, let the good times roll. And of course the whole ship is kind of themed around Mardi Gras with it being the Mardi Gras cruise and like the celebration that we had which was really cool last night and yeah this is lovely around here of course you've also got a lot of restrooms located throughout the ship as well and that's quite a basic thing but just wanting to get it in there you don't have to go back to your cabin or anything yeah there's loads of restrooms loads of toilet facilities throughout I like this just over here fortune teller bar past present future that's a great photo opportunity all the cocktails just over here Oh, look at that bubble. Oh, that's awesome. Another dining option down here. I believe this is a paid extra. I've never really seen many people dine at this one. Every time I walk through, very quiet this one. Emily's Bistro just over here. It looks like all... Yeah, it's like fish and lobsters and stuff like that by the looks of it. This one. All these sparkles are very nice in the ceiling. Oh, <laughs> you can feel it going side to side, can't you? Yeah, it's not like massive, but it's just a gentle, yeah, yeah, and the staircase is fantastic. And I believe this just leads down to the Palm restaurant again, because that's on both levels. Carnival kitchen, fun with cooking. And I think we'll head up to uh, deck 16 now and just show you a few more bits just up there as we have a little tour around. And back up in the lift, we didn't wait at all there. And straight up to 16, sometimes you stop at like every floor when you go around on these. So, where are we now? Let's take a ride just here. Have a look at the tides pool just over here. Whoa, wobbly wobbly. <laughs> sometimes the doors open for you, other times you have to push the button. 
So yeah, you got the two whirlpools just over here, the hot tubs, and the main pool there in the middle as well. Plenty of places to sit there, loads of sun lounges, and there's lifeguards on duty as well, which is good. Just keep everybody safe. And yeah, from this point you can walk further up to get onto the next deck. And that's where the bolt coaster is. You've got the golf and also the high ropes. And yeah, we've got to do the golf and the high ropes at some point. We should do that on our next day at sea. Yeah, we've got another full sea day, so we'll do those we'll then. Do those, I'll beat you at oh, I don't know about that. Tides bar area. Lots more seating around here. What amazes me is how they're always cleaning. It's like already in this floor, we've seen like 10 cleaners, like they're always keeping it pristine, uh, which I think is fantastic. One of my favorite places is Big Chicken. We did come here before, so I'll show you it again. Nice chicken place. You can do all your chicken tenders, and that sort of thing over here as well. Omelette, you had one earlier on, didn't you, actually? Beware of chickens, yeah. <laughs> three cheese omelette just up there and again this is included come here as much as you want to and yeah this leads through into the main kind of buffet restaurant just over here as well and yeah in terms of the buffet there is quite a lot of options in here i don't think there's as many as probably on other cruise ships because you've got all them other different options like the uh, burger places and chicken area the pizza place i think normally you kind of find that all in the buffet yeah like, look at this always doing work like always cleaning or repairing things Right, look at that. These views are lovely. Looking out. But yeah, that's the thing you can tell, like, they take a lot of pride in the ships. It's like when we came in from the port, we didn't really mention this, but they were pressure washing, weren't they? It's really nice to see keeping the ship clean. Yeah. You can see how choppy we are though. To be honest, I don't find it as bad when you can actually see it like that. It's more when you're in your cabin, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, someone who doesn't do great with water, you, you're doing really well though. Yeah, I am on water. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, it's a massive ship, like, there's over like 6,000 people there's on there. There's another ship over there, but I don't think it's a cruise ship. Oh, is there? Probably cargo. Like cargo. Look how nice and blue the water is. I feel like the water's getting like really blue now as they're heading down towards Amber Cove, where we're going to be yes. in the morning. I'm back out here onto deck 16 now. It's always got a great vibe out here. Red Frog Tiki Bar. They had the steel drummers out earlier as well. Music's pumping. You got the wall of moments up there, that's quite cool. Here's Charlotte wobbling about. <laughs> I know she's not had a cocktail yet. What a view, wow. And something else to look forward to in a couple of days is the high ropes course. We're really looking forward to doing that and we can use our GoPro to film it all. That's gonna be awesome. So yeah, stay tuned for that coming up. That's the surfboard theming round here. And yeah, this place is nice. You had a really good burger last night yeah, here. Burger was really nice. It's like five guys. Yeah, fantastic. Head down this way. I believe it's called, is it Guy's Burgers? Yeah, I think Guy's here. Burger joint. Yeah. Toppings that you can get just here. Again, this included. Grab as much as you want. I might just get some fries actually. As well as here. Yeah, Guy's Burger Joint. Yeah, I'm just going to grab some fries, there's no queue, why not? I thought we've got to come and sit at this table with it having Port Charlotte on it. It's my table. Hey, nice yeah. cheeseburger there for Yeah, look how cheesy that is. So cheesy. You get a bit like Five Guys. Yeah, lovely. Fantastic, oh. and they're made fresh for you right in front of you there really as well. Really good. I've just gone for some fries for now, just to have had loads today. <laughs> and a nice chocolate cake earlier as well. The desserts have been really good. Like, you know me, I love desserts. So many ice creams. We're going to have about 50 by the end of this cruise. Fantastic. You know, it's nice here. Kind of outdoor as well, so you get a bit of breeze. Good bits of theming over on the side as well. Here's a captain shot over here. Oh, hey. got my sunglasses, they're in the room. Are you enjoying our bit of a tour around the ship? Just gonna show you a few more food options down there on deck 16 now. So you got Blue Iguana Cantina just over here, right by the pool. And yeah, this is like tacos and burritos just over here, of course, included in the cost as well. Great location as well, just up here on the deck. So you just grab some food on the go. Yeah, you get an idea with how much we're shaking when you look at the water in the pool that's there. Kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> Seafood Shack, now this one isn't included. You do need to pay extra for this. There you can see all sorts of there. What we got, crabs, fresh Lobster. catch of the day, lobsters. Not really my sort of stuff there. Give me cod and chips any day. Well, yeah, you got that available. Time fries just over here, like all loaded fries. That is included. So you can just grab some fries. I've just had them plain, but you can have them loaded if you want to. 
And we've also got Steam Green just over here as well, a Shanghai Pork Dumpling. And Sizzle today, yeah, I believe these are included. Just over there, what we got there? Grilled chicken. Just over here at the sides. Yeah, there is a lot of options. Yeah, and then what's good here is like you've got your more fine dining, but you've got so much quick service as well. Yeah, fantastic. Loads of options. Just check the app. Because obviously not everything's open all day whilst you're here on the ship. And here we go then, back in our wonderful state room. Still can't believe how spacious this is in I here. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Charlotte's got a nice dress on for today Thank as well. You. Looking we go. good. Straining your hair there. Yep. Oh, did it burn me out? Oh no, ready for elegant eyes. It is. So yeah, obviously, you know, that's getting dressed up a little bit. You can kind of be as elegant as you want to. Uh, if you want to go full on kind of tuxedo, you can do. If you just want to wear a shirt, you can. Um, it's one of them on this cruise, with it being quite relaxed, quite informal, um, you can kind of wear what you feel is appropriate. For me, the thought of wearing a tux on here and this heat, like, I could not do it. Barely even jeans, you know. I think it's more if you want to go into like the main dining room. Yeah, but we've just seen people going to the main dining room, still in the shorts and t-shirts. Yeah, so no. it's completely optional. Quite Quite a few people are dressed up, quite a few people aren't. We're kind of mid-range, you know, like I've got put my black shorts on and I've got my uh, shirt on. That's as elegant as I'm going to get. It's too hot to be wearing big oh, dresses. Yeah, it is for me, but of course those people want to, absolutely fine. Uh, well, they've kind of said, you know, there's no pressure to wear anything too fancy if you don't want to. Um, it's more just whatever you feel comfortable in. See, I've just put a nice shirt on and I've put my black uh, shorts on just there. I could not, not wear that. a tux in this. Um, if it's a bit too much, not really very me either, you no, know. It's not. Also, just wanted to mention about the internet um, whilst on board. Fantastic. We went through the internet prices um, in the other vlog. But uh, yeah, I tell you what, I've been able to upload some vlogs whilst I've been on here, which I'm really surprised about. I've had worse internet connection in hotels before. That's great, that is. Yeah, satellite internet connection um, here on the ship. I need to change that desktop now. I always kind of change my desktop to wherever we're going. And of course, I put Velocicoaster on there. Time for that to, uh, to change to now. Yeah. Change it to something Walt Disney World related. So of course, that's going to be coming up over on Theme Park Worldwide after our wonderful cruise. Yeah, it's just checking in on the live cam. Good time to go in the pools now, look. Really quiet down there. Yeah, a lot of people still just having to chill out by the pools, making the most of it. And why not? You also can see the coaster. It's not operated all day today, just over there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that because obviously we've been shaking side to side. But to be honest, it feels like for the first time all day, we've stopped kind of swaying now. It looks a lot calmer. Earlier on, you watch this and you can just kind of see the sea kind of moving there. Well, not the sea moving, it was moving, but you can kind of see more of the sea on the screen um, when you're watching it. But so uh, yeah, we're gonna go and get some more food. And then of course, yeah, we've got some great entertainment coming up tonight here on the Mardi Gras. Oh, back up here now in our favorite spot with a lovely view looking out of the ocean. It's so nice here, isn't oh, it? it's a beautiful view, isn't it? This is where we're looking out of the turtles as well. Oh, I love that. What have you got just there then? So I've gone for some vegetable spring rolls, some nice vegetables, and then I've got this like red potato mash. It is so good. You love spring rolls, don't you? I love spring rolls. Spring rolls. What a view. We love it here. Right then, we have got fantastic seats for Celestial Strings, the first show we're going to be watching tonight. Look at this, I was watching all the setup earlier. We walked past and saw some of the rehearsals. It looks fantastic. Yeah, they changed the setup in here every night, like a massive operation. We're also going to see the captain shortly as well. So yeah, he's going to be coming on. See the captain of the ship, and then of course, yeah, Celestial Strings. Really excited to see this show. And now for Sony Lockley, Samasso, the vessel, your captain and ours, Captain Alessandro. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. All right, folks, how are you tonight? Wonderful. <laughs> I know there is a, a little rock and roll, but uh, you're on vacation, and I know that you're doing better than this. Come on, how are you tonight? <laughs> All right, fantastic, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is uh, Alessandro, again, captain of the Mardi Gras, of course, and I'm here together with the senior officer to welcome you all on board. Well, folks, I've been part of the Carnival family for the last, well, 23 years. Started as a second officer on board the Carnival Victory back in 2000. Oh, that's cool. Have a nice evening. Well, there it is, everyone. Please, one more time, give a big round of applause to all the senior officers and, of course, the captain of the vessel, Captain Alessandro, as well. <laughs> Oh, 
But where do we even start to talk about that show? It was absolutely incredible. All the years of visiting theme parks, attractions, and now, of course, coming onto a cruise ship. That is one of the best shows I have ever seen in my life. We absolutely loved that show. The vocals in there was absolutely amazing. All the violins in there as well. They were so amazing to listen to. It was just a beautiful show. It really was. And yeah, the whole production was like 45 minutes. The costumes were great. The screen use again as well. And yeah, it was just really powerful, really emotional. And it kind of told its own storyline as well, uh, which was amazing. And we had the best seats in the house for that oh, there. I was literally sat right at the front, which made it even more special. Oh, I'm so pleased that we were. But yeah, that was amazing. I tell you what, the shows that we've seen on this ship so far have been fantastic. And we've still got another few days of entertainment, which is brilliant. Oh, we cannot wait to see what other shows we've got in store. Yeah, every night they've got new shows. And it's the fact they changed the setup as well. It's like with that, a completely uh, different stage area to what it was last night with the voodoo show uh, everything we've seen so far has been brilliant in its own way but i've got a real soft spot for that it was absolutely amazing the vocals the musicians oh it was beautiful we've got lots more entertainment to see though tonight we've got some sort of we don't really know it's a mystery variety show in the theater now it isn't just it sort of said doors open at like quarter past <laughs> nine but we don't have a clue what it is so we're gonna go and find out then got a bit of a silent disco going on uh, and then you've got family feud the adult version tonight it's like an american game show uh, so we're gonna go and check that out see how lots more to see. Oh, look at this. The first piece of food I've bought in three days. There we go. We've got this nice s'mores cupcake. And yeah, it was $4.70. It's not too bad, really. I went for the pick and mix. How much so for this that? came out at $7.66. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not too, too bad. bad no. I thought it was going to be worse. But uh, there you go. Bad. You got a good bag full down there, though, yeah, haven't I can't you? Wait to gobble all these That's all right. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I still can't get over that show. Incredible. Oh, well, that cupcake was absolutely delicious. It really was. Oh, my sweets are lovely. And we're up here on deck 18 now, the adult area. Nobody else around at all. Like, you can have this hot tub to yourself tonight. It's lovely. And I think maybe tomorrow we'll go in that in the evening. Yeah, why not? Because there's nobody up here. I think they're open until 10 o'clock, these hot tubs. And there's a movie on down here as well. I love it up here on the top deck. Oh, this is really nice and chilled out up here tonight. Completely different to the deck party before. Movie night, up here on the top. Chill out in the pool down there as well. This is lovely. And here we go, back in the lift. We play the game of are we going to get all the way down to level seven? Oh, oh. are we going to stop? I mean, there's not really that many people about tonight, is there? No, there's is not. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Oh. 14, I think 12. because the ship's been rocking a little bit, maybe people are just in the cabins, yes. to be honest. Oh my god, I think we're going to do it. All the way. Nine, to eight. seven. Yeah. Right, we're going into the theatre now, and yeah, we're going to see what this entertainment we don't know is what like. Is this. It's a mystery, this one. Day Let's seven. go. Well, we realised after making our way to the theatre that actually it was just a pre-show to Family Feud that we're watching later anyway, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so we thought we'll go and watch Celestia Strings again. Yeah, we literally just watched that again, that beautiful show. Oh, it was oh. so good, we love it. That is the good thing about this ship, the main shows they put on twice, don't Which they? It's really good so people can watch it. Yeah, it helps spread the crowd levels out. Yeah. But we're going upstairs here now because we've got a silent disco about yeah, to start. We're going to see if we can get in. Yeah, this is in a venue that we've not been in yet. I believe it turns into a nightclub as well in here. Uh, so we're going to go and check it out. It's the Limelight Lounge just upstairs here. And here we go then in the silent disco. Now, of course, you can't hear any music because it's all coming through the headphones, obviously. But I just might dress playing that one just in case you've never been to a silent disco before. Two different DJs on just over there. And of course, yeah, everybody's either got the blue or the red lights on, depending on which DJ they're listening to. I like just taking my headphones off and listening to everybody singing along. It's always good fun. Nice in here though, in the limelight lounge. Wake me up before you go, go. We got different songs on. Before you go, go. You wanna hang it on, go so Wake me up before we go, go. I like the lighting in there, it's very good. Wake me up before we go, go. Kiss me, baby, and tell me twice <laughs> that you're the one for me. The, the way, way you're making, making me feel. Oh, she's <laughs> loud. You really turned me good. <laughs> you knocked me up from my feet now, baby. <laughs> the lonely days are good. The lonely days are good. I love it. You can just sing along. And yeah, I don't even know if you can hear me now with these headphones on. The lonely days 
Oh, I love just taking my headphones off and listening to everybody saying one of my favourite bars was Silent Disco. <laughs> Oh, she's good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's really nice venue in here as well with all the lighting. Very cool. Bar area just over there at the back as well. And yeah, this opens up as a late night uh, nightclub. Of course, adults only in here. And yeah, I believe it opens up at like midnight till the early hours of the morning. But yeah, this is just a silent disco before that. Then I think it closes again. I want you back. <laughs> I want you back. I want you back. Brilliant. Silent disco. What a venue. Well, we just spent a bit of time there in the silent disco. Nice in the limelight lounge. Oh, that was so much fun. I love hearing people having a little sing song. Yeah, and of course, that's just like a normal nightclub every night as well later on in the evening. It's really good. It's a nice size in there. Yeah, fantastic. What I liked in there, I don't know if you noticed, the lighting changed in the ceiling, depending on how many people were listening to each of the coloured headphones. Yeah, a lot of people were listening to the blue channels. Yeah, and then of course when it was even, all the, the red came on as well. It's very cool. I love that. What have we got here then? I like these little grapes dancing. Oh, we missed the art auction. It was today, Charlotte. Oh, did we? Oh, well there we go. As you can see, we're coming towards the end of day three here on the Mardi Gras, and we're going to go and see Family Feud now, aren't we? We are indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, the adult version. You've never actually seen the show, Family Feud. No, I think it's a bit like um, our survey says. Yeah, Family Fortitude yeah, back it's home. A bit like that. Well, we'll give it a go. We're going to check it out. That's in the big theatre. And then, of course, we'll head back to our stateroom. <laughs> Now they've just told us not actually going to be able to film this one, but here's a look at the setup just before we get started. And yeah, I've got to say, it looks fantastic. So we'll see you when we come out. Well, there we go, back here in our stateroom after watching Family Feud Live. Yeah, you weren't allowed to film that because it was actually like a proper TV set in there. Uh, and of course, for copyright reasons, they wouldn't allow it. But it was so much fun, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. Everyone was just having a laugh in there, which was great. It was the adult version as well. So there were some quite adult jokes in there. It was really good. It was hosted by the cruise director, Jackie. So um, good. Absolutely amazing. We had some really good laughs. It was packed full of people in there. And it was just a good time. And I'll tell you what, we've had another brilliant brilliant day. A bit more chilled out earlier but then of course we've done a bit of a tour around which has been nice. I'll show you some more of the dining options on here as well and of course seen some more spectacular entertainment. Oh we've had a fantastic day. I've had a nice three hours sleep as well this <laughs> afternoon. Are you still going to sleep tonight do you think? Yeah I will come tired. Well my highlight of the day and my highlight of the cruise so far has been today and that was Celestial Strings. Oh that was so good. What a performance. Yeah I loved it that much. We went back to watch it again <laughs> and we saw it like a bit higher up because obviously that spans across three decks and that whole kind of center stage area uh, but well, that was Amazing. fantastic and yeah we've just been to get a little bit more food as well at the pig and anchor uh, because they have the late night buffet on there uh, till 1am which is perfect really I just got some cookies yeah <laughs> and a nice hot dog some chicken tenders and some cookies as well but uh, anyway that's going to do it for today tomorrow we're going to be in the dominican republic it's amber cove oh, i'm really looking forward to that we can have a swim in the sea yeah i don't think there's going to be as much to kind of walk around as nassau i think it's going to be really chilled out really relaxing i believe this is a newer port um, the ship stop off at as well and um, so it's going to be fantastic but uh, there we go thank you very much for watching and have your own adventures see you for part four